What's up guys? So it is going to be over 80 degrees today. It's probably one of the hottest days in April I've ever seen. So I figured I'd get out there early, pick some daffodils, tulips, and uh, bring Finn along for the ride. So he's actually never been like out, out before, um, just roaming around free without a cage or you know something to contain him. Uh, just because he can fly a bit, so I am a little nervous. Um, but you know, out of the four quail, I think he's the best bet of just you know walking around and enjoying you know the rows of flowers as opposed to like Daisy, Jake, and Quinn who would be off you know in the trees and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Ready to go outside, buddy? I brought your favorite flower hat. These are some daffodils I picked uh, two days ago, so we'll be picking something similar to that today. Alright, so we're starting off in the greenhouse just to see how he reacts to being outside and everything. Alright, buddy? Um, yeah, this is my small little greenhouse. Uh, I start like all my ranunculus, potted plants, flowers for the season in it. Uh, usually he loves scratching around in here, so I'm gonna let him get used to the outdoors and then, you know, I guess we'll migrate to the uh, daffodil field. Got in front of the greenhouse? Brought your flower hat? Hmm? Wanna go down? Go ahead here. Go ahead. Go. So um this is like my little <clears throat> private garden. Let me see if I can get the focus. Um I sprinkled all stuff to keep the deer away, but these are all new rose bushes, uh, anemones, ranunculus, peonies, um tons of tulips coming in as you can see. So it's gonna look really pretty. And then Finn just checking everything out. So it's actually already hot for him. I didn't realize how hot it got so quick, especially in the greenhouse. Uh, and he was panting before, so <clears throat> we're gonna wait to pick the flowers until maybe, you know, uh, the evening time when it's a little cooler out. Um, and I'm not gonna bring him in the greenhouse uh, anymore, especially on hot days. So yeah, we're gonna wait a few hours and then go pick some, some daffodils. Okay, so it's finally a cool day. Uh, had to wait a few days because we had a really warm spell, especially for uh, April. So now I'm going to pick a few uh, tulips just for a bouquet. So this is the greenhouse where I start a lot of my seedlings. I also have some just random flowers in here. Um, I put this frost cloth down like maybe a week and a half ago and I went in here just to check on the seedlings and water and this bird jumped out and scared the crap out of me. I don't know what kind of bird it is. I don't want to get too close but she laid, I think there's three eggs in there. So it looks like I won't be moving that, um, you know, until it hatches, which is great. <laughs> so I have a few beds of ranunculus, roses and stuff that just aren't ready yet. The farm is an absolute mess just because flower farms are never pretty. But I do have some really pretty ones that I want to pick really quick just for a bouquet. So I'll pick those and I'll put it together and show you guys. Also, I have Finn in the greenhouse right now wandering around. So I closed it off and he can like pick out bugs and stuff while I, um, you know, just pick a few flowers just so at least he's outside and, you know, roaming. Okay, so I want you. Ah, that's a pretty one. I want you. This one's called Black Parrot. I love this one. A few of these. Okay, so I'm going to pull some of these. These are um, too opened. They're good for a bouquet, but not for storage. This one's good for storage. And so you want to get the bulb out with it like that. It gives you a lot, nice long stems and you can store it like that. I'm gonna try my best to show you guys without dropping this and filming. This is the uh, the finished one. So these are all two spent. I'm gonna give these to my mom, my grandma, uh, mother-in-law and stuff like that. So there's, there, there's some beautiful ones here. These fringed ones, oh, let me point. These ones are gorgeous. So these will all open up even fuller in a few days. So they're perfect for um, you know, um, you know, mason jar bouquets and stuff like that.
Okay, spin in my hand. I'm gonna walk down to the, uh, usually where the mostly of the tulips are, but since the deer ate, you know, the majority of them, unfortunately. This is what we're left with. Just, uh, I'm just gonna get the focus right. Just, uh, daffodils right now. Sounds pretty out. Looks like a lot of them are spent, but I'm gonna try and salvage what I have for a bouquet. Finn also has his other flower hat on for today, which is cuter than the last, in my opinion. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? You looking at the camera? You're a poser. Okay, go ahead. I'll let you go. Go ahead. So Finn was a bit uh, tired of walking around. He just plopped in the middle of daffodils, but now he's in my pocket because he's needy and I don't trust him today. <laughs> so I'm gonna collect the rest of the daffodils and tulips and then I'll take an after shot for you guys. So here's the bouquet Oops, so far. Some daffodils, a lot of tulips, uh, and there's actually a lot more to pick than I thought. So even though these all got eaten and stuff, um, I still have a decent amount of tulips left, so. So Finn's inside all safe. I have my bouquets all sorted. I'm gonna go finish them off, cut the stems, and get them in the water right now. And I have Finn chillaxing on the windowsill because it's window time for him. This is Finn's window time. <laughs> Doesn't like being interrupted. <laughs> he sings to the, the songbirds outside. Listen. So thanks for watching today's video. I'm going to be posting another video on Thursday where I introduce all four uh, Merns quail to you guys because I haven't done a, a formal introduction of them. So stay tuned for that.